Hey audience, what's going on? It's Mr. Hacker here. Um, what we're going to do today is we're going to do a continuation of the lessons that we've been working on. Now, if you've noticed, all the lessons we've been doing, the theme has been things that you can do at home and things that you can do without having to go out and buy your own equipment, okay? And today's the same thing. So today we're going to work on what's called homemade bowling, all right? So let's get started. All right, let's get started with equipment. So what you need to make the bowling pins, you need to find some bottles. You can use two liter bottles, you can use creamer bottles, but you need to have at least six. Six or ten are the combination. Then for the ball that we're going to make, you're going to need some old t-shirts. And then in the t-shirts, you're going to need a Walmart bag, okay? So the first thing you do is you fold the shirts in half and then fold them in half again. And then you're going to place them inside the Walmart bag. Now the Walmart bag is mainly just to protect the shirt so when we're done with the tape ball, the uh, t-shirts will not be ruined. You can just take the tape ball and use the shirts again. Now, to make this ball, you want to try and get all the air out of that bag. So you're going to squeeze and press down so, and so all that air comes out, okay? And then after you get the air, you just tie it in a knot. Okay, I'm going there, trying to twist it around a little bit and then tie that in a knot. Just like that. All right, now, so now we've got it tape that ball. We're going to use purple duct tape this time. Last time I used black, but you can use any color you want to. And so the first thing you want to do is you want to get that end of the knot and kind of tie it down so it's out of the way. So you tear off a small piece, okay, and then just kind of fasten it up in there to get that down, right? And then from that point, you're just going to do exactly like we did with the tape off of the scoops. You're going to wrap all the way around one way, tear it off. go across the other way tear it off right there okay and then you're gonna go diagonal and you kind of kind of shape it a little bit now listen this ball is not going to be perfectly round it's not going to be anything actually even like the um, scoop tape balls we did we're able to get those pretty round these are kind of going to be like I don't know the best way to describe it is a ball beanbag is shape okay so it's going to be kind of round it's going to be I don't know it's it's just not going to be completely round <laughs> that's not the best I can say okay so you just want to keep tearing off tape until you don't see any of the Walmart bag okay and then kind of press it and fold it all right all right so we've got a ball we've got our bottle and the last thing we need is that sidewalk chalk all right so now when you get out to your sidewalk and you use that sidewalk chalk you're just going to make a triangle formation with the chalk, okay? And you're gonna start with three in the back, two in the middle, and then one in the front. Now, if you have 10 pins, you'd actually put start off with four, three, two, and then one, okay? And then you just place those bottles on top of the dots that you drew, and they'll form a perfect triangle. Now here you can just see how much larger this ball is than the black tape ball we made earlier. And after that, you go down the other end, and just, you know, 10, 15 feet, and make your foul line, okay? And then just have fun rolling. Now, things we want to look at when we're doing that roll. We want to have our front to target, put a cup of soup, step with that opposite foot, good knee bend, and a follow through. Okay, see how that front knee is bent and the back knee is almost touching the ground. Let's watch it one more time. Step with that opposite foot, knee bend, and follow through. Okay, and we talked about, remember, how you've got to go backwards and forward at the same time. So as your opposite foot is going forward, your arm is going backwards at the same time. So this is a perfect example right here of what we mean by step with that opposite foot. It doesn't matter if it's throwing, rolling, underhand, overhand, you've always got to get that opposite foot. All right, Arlington, that is homemade bowling, okay? It's a great activity for you to work on your motor skill development, have some fun with your family, okay, and do it for nothing, okay? Because everything that we use was things that we found in the house, all right? So make sure you do this. Have a great time with it. Have fun, okay? And keep working on those other stations we've been doing also. This is an activity that you can just add to your fitness stations, okay, that you do to work your body, all right? Have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Bye.